Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to scrunch some shorts. I got these shorts at Costco probably three weeks ago, and they're 100% cotton, and they take the dye really well, so you might have some left at your local Costco, so go and check it out. So I decided that I was going to scrunch them in the basket like I normally do, but then I thought about it a little bit more and I wasn't sure if a tall deep scrunch would quite work on these because the material is rather thick. So I decided to pull them out of the basket and do a nice tight scrunch and secure it with rubber bands and then put it back in the basket. I was thinking that doing it this way would give more surface to ice to dye contact versus, like I said, the tall deep scrunch. I wasn't quite sure how the dye would travel. So let's see what happens. I'm starting out by doing the dye under ice method. As I mentioned, the fabric is rather thick on these shorts, and so I wanna make sure that I have decent saturation. And the whole goal for these shorts is to have a burgundy wine red color. I don't operate with reds very often, so I just wanted to try something different. And I rarely use Dances with Raisins, but it's such a beautiful color. For the setup, I'm using these baskets that I got from the dollar store. I love them. I use them to hold my dye. I use them to do dye projects. So I have one basket on the bottom, propping up the basket that the project is in. That way when the ice melts, it's not sitting in the muck. And then I have all that placed down in a tote to catch the muck water. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure and I add my ice. And I like to add enough ice to where I'm not seeing the fabric show through anymore. So basically, I just fill up the silicone cake molds. Now, I forgot to secure the cake mold, so everything has fallen apart on me. So I ran really quick and I got a paper clip, but I knocked most of the dye off the shorts down inside the tote. Now, I decided I would reset up and pour all of that dye on top of the shorts. Now hindsight is 2020. I'm not sure if this was the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do, but we'll see at the end. It's like my Dexter crime scene. I came back after the ice melted and checked the back. It didn't quite have the saturation that I was looking for, so I decided to flip it over and somewhat repeat the process. This time I'm going to do the dye over ice method and try to get some of the color splits going. And I'm adding a smaller amount of ice this time because it already does have quite a bit of saturation. And so I'm not trying to push all that dye out through, you know, I just want to add a little more color and have it stay in the shorts. I give the project another quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure, and I decided I wanted to take this project outside into the sunshine to let it batch, so I cover the entire tote really well with foil, and it's recommended that you let your project batch for 24 hours at 70 degrees or higher. I let this project batch for the full 48 hours outdoors in 100 degree weather. So things are looking pretty good. The front and the back both have decent saturation. So now it's time for the rinse out. And you wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric. And then increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. Now it's my experience with reds 
and blues, they seem like they need a little extra rinsing. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon, which is a professional textile detergent that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft, which is a professional fabric softener that I also get from Dharma. And I do have links down below in the description box to make it easy for you to find, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye, so make sure that you check that out. And then I put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here's our shorts after they've been washed and dried and ironed. And this is Bella wearing them outdoors. And I tied up her shirt so you could see all of the shorts. I definitely achieved the color palette that I was looking for. Hindsight being 2020, pouring the ice on top with all that melted dye probably wasn't a great idea because now there are some areas of heavy saturation. I like the the areas that have a little bit of lighter saturation because you can really see the scrunch pattern. So I wish it was one or the other, like heavy saturation all over the shorts or not so much saturation. Like right here, I love the way that looks. And I purposely chose pomegranate because I knew it would break down into this sort of rusty orange color, which I thought would create interest against the Dances with Raisins, which is more of the purplish red that you see. And then the powder pink breaks down into all kinds of wild splits. So I thought I would see more blues and yellows, but they didn't really show up. I think the powder pink gets lost in this project. Also, the buttons sort of corroded, not all of them, but some of them. And I think it's a combination of too long in the soda ash bucket and then also the 48 hours batch time. But I think that's okay. It's, I mean, it is what it is. Nobody's paying attention to the buttons anyways. And then when you have your t-shirt down, you can't really see the undersaturation on the pocket area. That area was so thick that it just didn't get saturated very well. So the t-shirt covers all that up. Overall, I love the shorts. I think they're really pretty. Like I said, I don't work with the reds very often, so it was fun to try something different. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!